Good morning, happy Monday, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm on my way to school, I have weaving in the morning, and then my art history class, so let's go. In my weaving class, I started on the second weave of my bioluminescence inspired collection using a 24 harness CompuDobby loom. I picked a whole assortment of fun colors from my own yarn stash, and I spent basically the whole three hour class period working on this weave. Last week, you saw me really struggle with this exact same loom, but thankfully I had no issues this week, so I could actually really enjoy the process. Here's how my finished woven sample turned out. And now two of my weaves for this project are complete. I love seeing a collection slowly come together like this. I just finished with weaving. I'm gonna stop by my locker to drop off all my stuff and then I'm gonna go find some lunch. After a quick lunch and my evening art history class, I went back to the weaving room so I could work on my homework for tomorrow's tabletop class. At this point, I'd finished designing the main dishes of both my formal and casual collections. I then needed to design a cup and saucer for my formal collection and a bowl and mug for my casual collection. What I came up with. I wasn't really crazy about this formal cup, but I liked the rest of my designs. I'm done with my day, and now I'm gonna go meet Ryan for Korean fried chicken. I think this is gonna become like probably a weekly tradition just because he has class in the area on Mondays, so let's go! Good morning, happy Tuesday. So I'm filming in my apartment for a second because I just wanted to show you my outfit. I'm wearing the celery squid vest that I made in my internship video from the summertime. So I wove this fabric out of yarn scraps that were destined for the landfill, tried to give them another life, and then I made this crazy asymmetrical vest out of it. Also, yee. <laughs> Let's go. My first class of the day was CAD, and I brought in a whole bunch of paintings that I had made over the weekend. I was playing around with gouache on black paper, and I came up with almost a jellyfish-like flower design, and I decided to explore that concept. So first, I scanned in all of my paintings. Then I spent the whole morning trying to figure out how to get this into a repeating pattern. I really liked how the images looked when they stacked together, so I decided to play around with making a vertical stripe design. Here's what I came up with. It's giving me funky underwater alien floral, which is exactly what I was going for with this collection. This design is still not quite there yet. I need to make some adjustments and clean it up a bit, but it's a start and I'm pretty happy with it so far. We then took a little class trip to FIT's print lab to learn all about laser cutting. This is a super cool process where we make a design in Adobe Illustrator, and then we send that file to the print lab so they can cut our design into a material like leather, wood, acrylic, etc. Part of our assignment is to include one laser cut print in our collections, which is both really exciting and a little bit intimidating. Hello again, I just got out of my CAD class and overall it went really well. I'm super excited about the opportunities we have to do laser cutting. I know I didn't really get to show you all that much, but we have a lot of opportunities to make some really cool things with that. So 
I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm definitely excited to start brainstorming. Anyway, I have about two hours to kill until my next class, so I'm gonna go get some food and then probably take a walk because it's actually a beautiful day today. On my walk, I ended up wandering into the local Goodwill just to poke around and see if there was anything interesting. Usually when I go to the thrift, I can maybe find like one thing I like if I'm super lucky. Today, I somehow ended up finding a whole armful of things that I absolutely love. This was by far my most successful thrift trip ever and it totally made my day. I am just in disbelief, honestly. I love thrifting. I try my best to thrift as many of my clothes as I possibly can. I find it extremely fun, but it can often be extremely discouraging just because like as a plus size person, the options are extremely limited and I feel like things are never my size, good quality and cute. It's maybe like one or two of the three and that's it. But today I feel like I walked in that thrift store and it was like my Pinterest board of the clothes that I've been manifesting just like blew up in the store. It was like everything I wanted, exactly my size, good quality, and I can't say that's ever happened before, so I am stoked. <laughs> I honestly really like watching when people like shop and do little thrift hauls, so maybe when I get home sometime this week I can wash everything up and like show you some of the things I bought. I don't know, I'm not usually that type of channel, but it could be fun. <laughs> anyway, I got so excited that I forgot to eat, so I need to go grab something really quick and then I'm gonna head to my tabletop class. The goal of today's class was to bring in our finalized sketches for professor approval, and then to continue figuring out what our painting stall was going to look like for our collections. So I got approval for my sketches, and then I traced one of my plates a couple times on some nice paper and did a whole bunch of practice painting. Again, I just got out of my tabletop class and honestly, my class has been a challenge this semester so far. I'm trying my best. I'm really hoping I can make a collection that I'm proud of at the end of this and <sighs> that's all I really wanted to say. Just wanted to like get that out there, you know? <laughs> anyway, I don't have much to do tonight, which is great. So I'm gonna go home and take it easy. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I have my tabletop class today at <laughs> I have my tabletop class today at 2 p.m. So I'm heading to campus early and I'm just gonna work on stuff pretty much all day and hopefully get a lot of things done. So let's go. I found an empty classroom to settle in for the morning and then I got to work. So in last week's video I asked you what your favorite dinner plate was between the magenta the rose gold and then this kind of crazy more neon look and that video went live on monday so today i was looking through the comments and this one was the clear winner based on the comments i got in my comment section the only issue is that this is the one my professor likes the least so <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing anymore you can see i've just been doing like paint swatch after paint swatch just trying to find the right colors and like sample after sample after sample after sample. And I'm honestly just like trying my best to make something that I'm happy with, but I don't really know what that's gonna look like just yet. So today I have to put in some work and try to figure that out. I know that people are gonna tell me definitely that I shouldn't like compromise my own aesthetic on behalf of a teacher. But the thing is that like, I do really still wanna learn from her. You know what I mean? So if she's telling me that like, I'm missing the mark with what I'm doing, I wanna try to get on the right track, you know what I mean? And I don't feel like that's me compromising my art style because like the pink and green fluorescent one is definitely my favorite, but I feel like there's a reason she's telling me not to do it. And I kind of want to like follow her and like go through this experience as she's guiding it, if that makes sense. And then I can always make neon plates on my own. So I'm going to try my best to make this design both me and have it satisfy the requirement. And that's what my puzzle is gonna be for the day. So let's figure it out together. <laughs> Actually, before I do that, I have to make like official final versions of all of these sketches. So these are still pretty like sketchy and in progress and I have to make versions that look prettier. So gotta do that first. I 
up spending roughly four hours making these nice, official copies of my designs for my plates, mugs, bowls, cups, and saucers. Then, in class, we were all surprised by a very sudden change in the project guidelines, which meant that I had to redo quite a lot of my work. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about what happened in that class, because I'm trying my best to like really not be negative and just roll with the punches and do the best I can. But I am frustrated that I had to basically trash my work and start over certain parts of it, but I'll get through it. It's just going to be more time dedicated to this class, which I'm already dedicating a lot, but hopefully to be worth it. Anyway, on a much happier note, I'm actually going out with Ryan tonight and I'm so excited about that. We're gonna go to the Alamo Draft House and we're gonna see Clue, which is that really fun 80s movie starring Tim Curry and I love it. The Alamo Draft House is really fun because it's like a restaurant movie theater combo. So you get to like eat really good food at your seats. And sometimes when they show old movies like this, they do like little celebratory things like special menus or fun cocktails or something. So. It's exactly what I need right now, and I'm really looking forward to it, so I'll see you around. Good morning, happy Thursday. I feel weird today, because usually I have all my crazy amount of stuff that I'm carrying, but I left everything in my locker last night so I could go to the movie and not like worry about my laptop and stuff. And now I just feel like naked. <laughs> I decided to treat myself to a coffee this morning on my way to school. And yeah, I'm excited for the day. So let's go. In my CAD class, we learned about the technical aspects of digitally printing color onto fabrics. A part of our assignment is to print samples of our work, which I'm really excited about. And I found this discussion really interesting. One thing we talked about is about how different color can look on a computer screen versus the fabric itself, which is gonna challenge us for sure. I then went back to work on my floral design. I cleaned up my file and I perfected my pattern and then decided it was missing something. So I played around with adding some stripes onto the flowers to give them some more definition and make them look a little more flowery. I wasn't really sure if this worked or not, so I asked my professor for some feedback and she decided to ask the whole class for feedback, which is always a bit nerve wracking. But overall, the class seemed to respond really well to the stripes and gave me some tips on how to improve them, which was really helpful. And I really like how this pattern turned out. In my next class, which was weaving, I started by cutting out my favorite of my painted sketches and I added them to my project sketchbook. Then we learned about a technique called tissue picks where we can create motifs in our weaves. I made a pattern that I really like, but it's not quite there yet. So I'm gonna keep working on it. Hello again, I just got out of class and I'm now heading home. I actually have kind of like a mini break right now, which is really exciting. So I have Friday off, Saturday and Sunday, obviously. And then we have Monday and Tuesday off because of a holiday. So I'm going on an adventure this weekend that I am so excited about and I'll take you along with me. So yeah, I'll see you Saturday. So I know I said I wouldn't see you again until Saturday, but I wanted to do my tiny little thrift haul of all the fun pieces I got earlier. So let's start with this one. <laughs> the first piece I got is this cropped knit sweater from the brand Blue Blush. It's a really fun green color and I think it'll be perfect for layering this winter. I also found this dark navy pullover that didn't have any kind of label in it. I really like the big drapey sleeves and the interesting folded collar detail. This cropped loose knit top from the brand Skifo made me really happy because it's knit with a metallic yarn that makes it really subtly glittery. I love the uneven choppy hem of this black knit top from the brand Zuza Bart. I looked up the brand and the designer is a Polish biochemist turned textile artist and that makes it even more special to me. This knit top is another favorite of mine from this haul because I love the intricate geometric design. I wish this one had a label so I could look up the brand and find some more of these. This three quarter sleeve navy cardigan is from the brand Pure Hand Knit and it's just so soft. I got this jacket because it's perfect for my outfit for tomorrow's event. It doesn't have a label of any kind, but it feels really wooly and I love the raw edges and hems. An oversized sweater vest has been on my shopping list for a long time now, and I'm so happy that I finally found one. It's perfect for super cozy layering. 
And last but not least, I found this really cute and super comfortable matching set. I think this is perfect for lounging around, but still wanting to look somewhat put together. tall portion of this video and I hope you had fun watching it. I know that some of the pieces I got were definitely on the like more simple side like there was a lot of just like solid colors black navy gray but I tried to get things that were like simple basics that I could wear with my fun clothes but that they also had something interesting of their own to offer so those like uneven edges and the like little bits of metallic here and there like that's exactly what I like in my basics so I was really happy to find these at the store, and I hope you had fun watching me find them. <laughs> anyway, I will see you tomorrow. On Saturday, Ryan and I took a bus from Manhattan to Tuxedo, New York to visit the New York Renaissance Fair. This was our first time going to a Ren Fair together, and we dressed up and we had such a wonderful time. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventures this week. If you want to stick around and see how my projects turn out, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!